Bangkok, Thailand. Hot, humid, hectic. Under a tropical sun and the Buddha's watchful gaze, devotees pray for happiness and health. And well they might, Thailand's borders are in the grip of the lethal strain of drug-resistant malaria. More than anywhere else, people who catch the disease here find that established treatments can't help them. If this level of drug resistance is replicated around the world, then experts fear that the 50-year-old battle to contain malaria may be lost. Already, uh, we may be losing one person, usually a child, every 30 seconds. And that more terrible mortality figure is held in check by a few dying drugs. And if we don't do anything soon, that mortality figure is going to rise, not fall. Malaria is caused by a parasite that lives inside red blood cells and is spread from person to person through the bite of a mosquito. The malaria parasite is a clever bug. It's proved adept at developing resistance to whatever drugs we throw at it. But now there's a remarkable new treatment. According to Professor White and his colleague, Dr. Francois Nostin of the Wellcome Trust Research Unit in Mahadol University, Thailand. They're treating malaria sufferers with a substance called a tesunate, derived from an ancient Chinese herbal cure. We have now concentrated on the parasite, uh, trying to uh, kill the parasite before it kills the host. Francois Nostin works with some of the poorest people in the country, on the Thai-Burmese border, who are also most at risk from malaria. Here also are many refugees and migrant workers who fled from the civil strife in Burma. Struck down by malaria, this man found there was nothing he could do to help himself or his family. When I had malaria, I had dizziness, headaches, nausea, and sometimes all I could stomach after vomiting was lemon juice. Now, malaria sufferers like him have a new chance. Funded by Britain's Wellcome Trust and the Bill Gates Foundation, Francois Nostin treats his patients with artesunate. It's taken as part of a cocktail with mefloquine, the last anti-malarial drug to have any kind of impact in Thailand. This combination of two different anti-malarial agents is vital. If one drug doesn't kill the parasite, the other will. We don't have much choice and we don't have much time. The, the few drugs that we have left, we need to protect them against resistance. If we continue the good old way of throwing in the battle drugs one after the other, we just are going to lose them all. And once we have no more drugs, then that's it. How, how do we treat you know, three or four hundred million cases of malaria a year? Those who've taken this drug cocktail experience a remarkable recovery. Their delight at getting over malaria is only enhanced by the fact that a tessinate works fast and has none of the grisly side effects associated with many anti-malarials. After I had the treatment, I felt better, and now I'm healthy and happy. Because I'm poor, I couldn't go to the big hospital, so I'm very happy that there is a hospital here. As thousands of patients are now benefiting from their treatment, their recovery is also fully monitored. So they have become part of the largest clinical trial of the new Chinese herbal treatment. This is a big step towards a tessunate earning the credibility among Western doctors that it's long been denied. Ching Hao Su, as the Chinese call artemisinin, from which a tessunate is derived, is mentioned in the ancient medical texts from over a thousand years ago. It was used to treat all kinds of fevers, including malaria. Ching Hao Su was then rediscovered in the 1970s, when Chairman Mao decreed that a drug be found to treat malaria. Spurred on by this initiative, Chinese scientists analyzed Ching Hao Su, pinpointing the active element in combating the malaria parasite. Soon, the Americans tried to follow their lead, Bouts of malaria amongst the troops in Vietnam made finding malaria treatments a war priority. US scientists brought some seeds of Ching Hao Su to America, but when they grew it, 
they found that the vital anti-malarial agent didn't appear. And apparently, the active anti-malarial uh, compound of this drug, containing this drug, uh, is produced only in certain climate and in certain part of the world and not, uh, not everywhere. So it, 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 it grows well in China, in northern Vietnam, in Burma, in Laos, uh, and a few other places, but not everywhere. Ching Hao Su is as mysterious as it is ancient, but doctors have long distrusted its Chinese herbal origins. Francois Nossen and his colleague, Professor White, say it's time to go beyond snobbery and look at the facts. Not only is it a remarkably effective anti-malarial agent, but it actually stops the spread of drug-resistant malaria strains. This is because a testinate stops the parasite passing back from the malaria sufferer into the mosquito, so preventing the spread of the disease. The only way we can protect the very few drugs that we have and for them to have a useful life, by which I mean that we will be able to use them for at least five or ten more years. Uh, but if we don't do that, it's, it's a disaster because we actually have run out already of all the available alternatives. Malaria thrives in the jungles of Asia, so how fitting it would be if the drug that finally overcomes it hails from Asia's forests too. If a testunate is as good as its promise, then there will be a great lesson to be learned, that medical breakthroughs don't always come from where you expect, and that ancient wisdom has something to teach us too.